Hey guys, my name is Deb Marnie and I'm from Aussie Mail. And this is our chain mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, a big hi, hello, welcome. How are you today? Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me. It is really great to see you. So today I've got a new weave tutorial for you. This one is called Single Locked Byzantine. So obviously it's a Byzantine variant and there's a lot of Byzantine variants out there. So you will see quite a few popping up on this channel. It's a very versatile weave. Um, you either love it or you hate it, I guess, and I love it. Anyway, guys, let's get on to it. Okay, guys, I've got some sample pieces here made up for you of the Single Locked Byzantine weave. The sizes for these will be popping up here on the side. They'll also be listed in the description section, which you will find down underneath this video. But to run with them quickly now, this one over here is our 14 gauge version, AWG 1.6 millimeter diameter wire. Now the two rings here, the big ones, colored ones are 3 eighths of an inch or 9.53 millimeters. And the silver ones are a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeter ID. The next one is 16 gauge AWG, that's 1.2 millimeter diameter wire. The two ring sizes here are 9 30 seconds of an inch or 7.14 millimeters, that's the big rings here. And the other rings are 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.76 millimeters. The next size is 18 gauge AWG, 1 millimeter diameter wire. The larger rings in this one are 5.75 millimeter ID and the smaller rings are 5 30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters. And lastly, the 20 gauge version, which is 0.8 millimeter diameter wire. The large rings are 4.75 millimeter ID and the smaller rings are 1 8th of an inch or 3.18 millimeter. Okay, so as you can see from the pieces here, um, you can add your color in a lot of different ways if you choose to. Uh, I think it changes up the look of the weave quite dramatically. Today, I think I'll show you how to construct this one here, where we've got both the large ring and the rings in the middle of the cage um, are anodized or colored, and the other rings are simply just bright aluminium. Okay, so to start off this weave, um, the basis of this weave is obviously just Byzantine. So uh, if you've never done Byzantine before, this is going to be a slightly different way of teaching it. So if you want to get the hang of Byzantine first, check out this video up here. I'll list it up here in the corner. Go watch that if you've never done Byzantine before uh, and see how we would normally do it. The construction this time is going to be a little bit different. Uh, this isn't necessarily the way you would normally always construct Byzantine. But to start with, we're going to um, work with our rings just like we would normally with Byzantine. So we're going to start with our chain of three pairs of rings in the smallest size that is listed for the gauge. So this is 14 gauge AWG and these rings are a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeters. So I've made up my chain of three pairs, my starting chain, and I'm going to group that between my thumb and my finger. I'm going to flip the endmost pair of rings so that we've got one on each side of our piece and you fold them all the way back against your work and pinch them in place. Now our next step is to separate these rings here on top if they haven't already separated because what we want to do is we want to feed our next ring through this space here to lock our rings in place. So these are the rings we folded back and we want to lock those in place. So because of the pattern that I'm following, I'm going to now pick up one of my colored quarter inch rings and I'm going to feed that straight through there. So depending on what color pattern you're following, this may or may not be a colored ring. Um, it's just the way that we need to do this version that I'm showing you today. So we pop one ring in there like that and close it up. And then of course we want to double that ring up. 
So, so far, so good. This is the way we would normally create Byzantine. Okay. Okay, so you've created your Byzantine half as you would normally, and this is where we start to deviate from the normal construction of Byzantine. So it's not as simple as creating um, a piece of Byzantine and adding those large rings in. The ring is uh, quite a tight fit and if you try and feed it straight into the Byzantine weave it is difficult to close. It's uh, very hard to get a good closure. Um, it just it's just better if we construct it a little bit differently. It gives us a, a much nicer uh, finish look altogether. So our next step involves um, placing our large ring. So this is our 3 8 of an inch in the 14 gauge and we want to place that into our half Byzantine unit in here. So you can see that there's a, a slight space in there that's where we're going to feed our large ring. So taking that ring up, we just feed it straight through there. Okay, we want to make sure that it doesn't pick up, you know, any of our middle rings here and that it feeds out in the same spot on the other side of our piece. Okay, so it goes just straight in through there. And then we close that up. And you can see there that that's quite a snug fit in around those rings there. So now what we need to do is construct the other half of our Byzantine unit here on the other side. And to do that, we're going to place first these rings here that you can see on this side. So these rings here, they're the ones we're going to replace uh, first. So to do that, we're going to take up one of our small a quarter inch rings. We're going to feed it through the large ring that we've just placed. And we want one on each side of the pair of colored rings that is already in weave. Okay, so place that ring one each side and your work should look like this. And then what we want to do is start placing these rings here that you can see on the other side. Now you can see that these rings have moved. That's no problem. Just when you go to lock them into place, you just need to make sure that they're in position. So we take up a new ring and what we want to do here, we want to feed this through our first small silver ring. We then want to go through the colored rings that are in the middle. And then once we've done that, through the remaining silver ring on the other side. Okay, and then close that up. And your work should look like this. And then we wanna do that same thing on the other side of our piece. So taking up another small ring, again, feed it through the silver, one silver ring first, then the colored rings, and then the final silver ring. So just straight through there like that. Close that ring up. Okay, and your work should look like this. So we're close, we're nearly done. We just need to add one more pair of small rings and we want to put those through these end rings here in the middle. So we just want to come in and scoop those up just like that. So place two of your small rings in there. And there you go. We have finished one of our single locked Byzantine units. And then to continue on, we just um, build our first half of the Byzantine again like we would normally, which means we need to recreate that starting chain of three pairs of rings. So the first pair of rings will be the ones that we just placed to finalise that unit, to lock that unit into place. That's our first set. So we need to add two more pairs of rings to our chain. So just go ahead and do that now. And 
Okay. So you can see here we've got our three pairs of rings. One, two, three. And like we did before, we want to hold our work between our thumb and our finger so that we can flip that end pair of rings. So we've got one sitting on each side of our piece. Fold them all the way back against our work and pinch them in place. If these top rings here haven't separated, go ahead and do that now because remember we're looking for this space that you can see just in here and that's where we're going to place our next pair of rings and these ones for this pattern will be our coloured small rings. So feed th two through there. Okay, so that's our first half of our Byzantine unit placed. So as we did before, we now want to place our large ring and you can see, if I give this a little tug here, you can see in here, this is the space in there where we want to feed our large ring through. So take up your large ring and pop it through that space there. Okay, straight through there making sure it pops out in the same position on the other side. So make sure you haven't accidentally gone through, you know, something like this. Pop it through to the other side, making sure we haven't picked up any rings there in the middle. And we want to close our large ring up. Okay. And then we just need to again construct the other half of the Byzantine on this end. So as we did before, we place these two rings that you see here first. And you do that simply by feeding them through the large ring. Making sure you've got one on each side of the pair of uh, coloured rings that are already there in the middle. Okay, so there's the rings we just added. It doesn't matter if they're not on either side at the moment, just make sure that they're there when you lock them into place. And to lock them into place, we take up another small ring and we want to feed it through our first silver ring, then through the two coloured rings that are in the middle, and then finally through that second silver ring. Close that up. Okay, and our work should look like this. We flip it over to the other side and we place another silver ring through that same path. So again, one silver, two colours, one silver. Okay, a little bit easier this time because they're held in place by the other ring. Okay, so our work should look like this. And now we just need to place a final pair of rings here at the end and they go through these two rings that you can see in the middle there. So just again taking up another small ring and going through and picking up that pair, closing it up and adding another small ring. And there you go. So you just keep constructing your um, piece like that until you reach the length that you require. So the first half of your Byzantine constructed as you normally would. So I'll just run through quickly here. So we uh, start this by making sure we've got our starting chain of three pairs of our small rings. Okay, so you can see we've got that starting chain there. The first one is made up of the locking rings that we placed in the previous unit, and then we add two more pairs. We take our work, squeeze it between our thumb and our finger, separate out that end pair of rings, so we've got one on each side, fold them all the way back, give them a bit of a squeeze, separate those top rings out if you have to. Sometimes they pop open nicely by themselves. Once you've done that, Take up one of your coloured rings, 
feed it through that space just there okay picking up both of those rings you folded back so this will lock them all into place for you okay that's your oops Moby is that then that's your um, half Byzantine done as you normally would now we need to add our large ring and you can see that space in there that's where we need to pop our there we go our large ring straight through there so feed it through okay just like that making sure you don't do what just happened then and that it pops out through the ring you want it in the same space on the other side so right in the middle there not picking up any other rings lock it up and then just construct the other half so two small rings through your large ring one on each side of the colored rings okay and then once we've got those into place we want to place these rings in our work so again with a small ring you pick up your first silver ring you pick up both the colored rings and then you pick up another silver ring again close it up okay flip it over to the other side and place one through the same path on the other side of your piece so one silver two colored one silver and then to finalize your unit we want to run a pair of rings through these ones on the end there in the center so you just simply feed your ring straight through there and we want two of those in place as well and that's it guys just keep doing that until you reach the length that you require your piece to be and then to finish it off uh, with a lobster clasp, I would just grab a slightly smaller clasp attachment ring, put it through your final pair of small rings in your piece, pop your clasp on one end, on the other end, remove the twist tie, another, and just pop another uh, small clasp attachment ring there. But there you go, guys. That's how you create single locked Byzantine weave. Okay guys, well that's it. That was the video tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it and it was a benefit to you and um, that you enjoyed seeing a different way of actually constructing Byzantine. Alright, so if you did like the video guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on media. Share it if you like. While you're here, if you're not a subscriber, you might want to consider doing that for us. That would be awesome. Uh, check out some of our other videos here. We've got a lot for you to ruffle around through. And last, but certainly not least, guys, please don't forget to give our shop link up here in the corner a little bit of love and affection. That's where we sell all the bits and bobs and thingamajigs you're going to need to make up this weave and the many others we showcase here. All right, guys, thanks once again for popping in and seeing me. I hope you're all keeping very safe and well and that I get to catch up with you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.